bold, unique flavors hitting River and North, bringing together Middle East and South Asia cuisine. Sifr captures the cultural crossover in its opening with a menu inspired by Chef Sahil Sethi's travels and work in the Middle East. And he joins us now today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I was us. reading your bio, quite the world tour you were on in terms of your culinary knowledge. Yes, a little bit there, a little bit there, just to gain the experience and understand different cuisines makes you a better chef, so I think that helps putting a different menu all together. And do you feel that, do you feel the influences as you're putting together your menu, as you're cooking each time, you go, oh, here's something I wouldn't yeah. necessarily have added had I not studied here or there. Yeah. yeah, I think it brings out back all the nuances of different aspects of cooking from different regions that you've gone into and learned, and spend time learning with the cooks there, the chefs there. So with this specific menu, my work in Abu Dhabi for two years, I worked at St. Regis, and then learning from chefs from Morocco, Leb Lebanon, and then uh, Istanbul were, was eye-opening, and then it helped me execute the menu now here, bringing all those flavors, like this chicken liver pot that you see is basically a breakfast dish. Well, we're so, looking at some of the dishes that you have, and what I noticed is everything is really pretty. Yeah. So you, you're having us eat with our eyes yeah, and our yeah, mouths and yeah. stomachs, right? That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, it's really just beautiful. And the space inside is nice. You just opened in June. Yeah, we just opened in June, almost a month now. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. how are things going? It's going good. We are progressing slowly up to where we want. Uh, we are open six days a week from Monday to uh, Saturday as of now from uh, evening 5 o'clock till 10 on the weekdays, and on the weekends we opened at 11 o'clock. And uh, we have started Happy Hour started this Monday Ooh. from 5 to 6 on the bar. So we have a couple of bites plus a couple of amazing drinks that we're doing for the Happy oh, Hour Oh, those well. cocktails yeah. looked pretty yeah. spectacular. So Thank what are you, you doing today? It's a so melon dish. Good. Amber grilled melon. Mm -hmm. For people who don't have grills at home, they can use a high heat pan. Put a pan on high heat and basically grill your melon off quickly just to get that enough char. So we have this pre-grill from our custom herd that we had been made from Atlanta, from our purveyor called Grills by Demand. He made a custom hearth grill for us. Oh, so okay. we're using charcoal and oak wood as of now oh, that we're grilling so the product on. Oh, flavors yeah. in there. And then for people who are making the feta mousse at home, we have the yogurt and feta whipped mm -hmm. together, with a little bit of olive oil in it, just to get that homogeneous mixture. And then we just even... So that's it? Yeah. Just feta and yogurt? Feta, yogurt, and a little bit of olive oil. Of course, mm -hmm. you drink staying true to the cuisine by putting olive oil and then using feta. So again, influences from a little bit of Greek using feta cheese, right. right? Yogurt is a big part of the culture. So yogurt is, you'll see, I think 30 to 40 percent of the menu in the app side in the mezes is basically based out of yogurt. And then we also have vegan options, gluten-free options. So most of the cuisine is derived from a lot of gluten-free options. So the total availability of both the options, guests can come in and enjoy that way. Sure. So here we're plating our grilled melon on it which has been grilled, and then on Such this. Such a wonderfully fresh yep. dish, yep. I think, for summer, we especially in this heat. We do a little bit of spice mix, which is made with the dill, a little bit of garlic, and onion powder. So this is dried dill leaves. So you have fresh form of it and a oh. dried form of it as well. Okay. Right, so we put that. Little and bit of each, sumac, right? a little bit, adding a little sourness. You have a base of sourness from the yogurt. You have the fat from the feta. Plus, you have the sweetness of the melon. So everything is coming in together in terms of yes. flavors that you're doing. Now we're going to just put some of our fresh radishes that we have thinly sliced. Just to... And a different consistency yeah. in the mouth, Add right? So you've got the soft, you've got yes. a little bit of crunch yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And the so color, my goodness. Everything is just <laughs> so pretty. It just helps elevate the whole dishes all together. So it's a modern approach on doing Middle Eastern cuisine just not limiting ourselves to uh, Iran or Iraq. We're taking influences from a lot of other regions, right? So Istanbul is still not considered a part of, or Turkey is still not considered a part of Middle East, but it's more on the European side. Right. But they still have the eating habits of, so they are more European in the ways of growing and eating is more Middle Eastern. Yes, exactly. Right? So the flavors are there and then, of course, everything blends in together. We've added sumac to this and a little bit of dill, fresh dill, just to add that herbiciousness to it. A little bit more color on the plate, yes. just to look more appealing. Of course, everything has to make sense on what we put on the plate. It's not just throwing what, what you want to put on the yes. plate, right? So. And when you talk about the modern touches, I think it's interesting because you brought a, a hummus dish, yep. but you have different consistencies in that as well. It's not just all soft. It's not just puree of garbanzo. We have this one, we have puff chickpeas, plus we have green chickpeas, which have been charred. So 70% of the menu to 80% of the menu is basically cooked over the amber. Some ah. of the dishes are pre-made in the morning, like 
we cook the eggplant for this dish, and then that's been assembled in the evening, right? right? So the process is there. We start cooking it in the morning every day fresh for, for our clients in the evening. So that's totally something that's, that's unique. And of course, it's, it's getting into the market and understanding what, the, what our clients and guests are looking for. Right. And moving the cuisine from there. All so right, a little cilantro oil dish, yeah. to top that off. Here and we go. there you have it. It's a beautiful flour and a beautiful dish. Easy to the assemble. Pate, the eggplant, the roasted peppers, just delicious. You can check out the menu at 600 North Orleans and online at sifferchicago.com. We're going to post this recipe on our webpage. Just a beautiful dish to make at home for summer, especially. WGNTV.com slash midday. Thank you.